short teacher although short but a big problem let's begin the topic by definitions short teacher is nothing but being less tall than age demands but how much according to standard guidelines if a child has a height for age less than 3rd centile or the percentile or he has the height for age less than 2 sd then he is considered as short teacher note the term dwarfism is different from short teacher dwarfism can be considered as extreme form of short teacher and hence here the value dip below 3 sd from the mean height for age i know understanding these terms are bit tricky and we often get confused between them let me help you out let's see how international agencies come to a conclusion of keeping the values as this as we know when a child grows parents are often curious to know how tall their child will be and how many such parents record their value out of these many parents few record their childhood growth pattern like in the first year he is 75 cm in two years he is 87.5 cm etc and etc similarly what who did was they collected the data from registered parents under a common cohort and their number were in thousands or lakhs and later funneled out all the data into what we see today as growth charts there are so many growth charts developed for each age group and gender specific it's very confusing in reading such charts so let's understand the chart basics just try and focus on the green line it's the mean that is it represents the normal height of a child at that age mean is actually the value of the height that a particular age group has or we can roughly say that it is the height that most of the people of that age in the society has now let's see the two yellow lines around it these are the standard deviations from the mean which tells about slight extra or less height with respect to the normal but not much to be worried for here comes the major line of consideration that is the reddish orange line which indicates alert line for the parents as below this we consider a child to be short stature note this reddish orange line is the mark of 2 sd hence any value below 2 sd is indication of short stature and even further short that is below 3 sd dwarfism is considered now as we have the basic knowledge about these charts now let's see how to approach these charts who charts now what is the definition i told you was that short stature is when either third centile less or less than 2 sd these two terms percentile and the standard deviation are taken separate by who and thus two types of charts we have based on percentiles and the z scores that is standard deviations let's see the standard deviation or the z score first as you can see the chart represents the height for age in boys hence colored blue and the chart below that is pink represents that for girls now as you can see a table which is multiple color is basically a simplified version of this graph now for example we see a 2 year old boy should have an average height of 87.1 cm whereas if he has a height less than 81 cm as indicated in the orange we consider him as short stature and further steps of management should be taken hence it clearly indicates the usefulness in plotting the values of child growth so that parents can know whether their child is growing at normal pace or not now let's consider the second type of who chart that is based on percentiles as you can see here the percentiles given are 3rd 15th etc etc these are nothing but the percentage of children above this that is if we take third percentile it means only 3% of the children are above this height let's understand it better with an example as previously talked let's see the height of a child of 2 years old 
with respect to percentile as can be seen in the mean height is same as 87.5 cm and the height at the third centile is again 81 cm which is same as 2SD in the z-score charts. Hence, we can conclude that the two charts z-score and the percentile are based on same that is with respect to values. But what we have to consider here is never to count the line first but rather to see whether the chart given is of z-score or percentile and then to look at which line corresponds to 2SD or 3rd centile. It might look simple but this is the key step which prevent confusion in using the growth chart in life or in an exam question. Now let's see the causes of short stature. With respect to growth velocity, we can divide the causes into two physiological and pathological. Note here the growth velocity literally means the change in the height per unit time which we somewhere studied in physics. As you can see in the physiological short stature, this change in height per unit time is same as normal growth and hence we consider the growth velocity as constant. And in pathological short stature, since there is no pattern of growth, hence growth velocity is very different from the normal. Now let's move ahead and see the physiological short stature in detail. Physiological short stature Physiological short stature is of two types, constitutional delay in growth and familial short stature. As can be seen in both, the height for age is less than 2 SD and runs almost parallel with the normal. The difference lies in the two is that in a constitutional delay the child height somewhat waits and then suddenly jumps to normal whereas in familial short stature since the genes are busy in some other talented works hence the child remains short only. Let's see constitutional delay in growth further. Constitutional delay in growth is the most common type of short stature in children. In early years of childhood, 1 to 3 years, due to some unknown reason the child growth lacks but after then the growth velocity comes to normal. Since most of the time the child has growth velocity as normal, hence we see here as a normal growth velocity. Note, as in seen in the graph, the child do attain the normal height but a little late and the spurt is more significant than normal. Now coming to the pathological short stature. As discussed earlier, pathological short stature has abnormal growth velocity. It can be caused by nutritional deficiency, endocrine involving growth hormone or the thyroid deficiencies, chronic disorders like TB or CKD, syndromes like Down syndrome or the Turner syndrome, skeletal dysplasia like achondroplasia, social and psychological like poverty, and etc. And Much more coming up in this topic. See you there.